Okay, everybody, so here's a quick project that we have for today. Willow and Rocky are two new goats here in Adventure Girls Barnyard. Need a little bit better shelter than what they have right now. So we're going to try and knock out a quick goat shed for them. Call it a barn, shed, shack, whatever you want to. Uh, Mama Bear Squared made the joke that we'll be able to use it as a manger come Christmas. We could do a lot of nativity out here with it. We'll see if we can make it look uh, halfway decent, but we're just going to try and get these goats some shade and give them a little shelter from the weather, better than the little doghouse they're in right now. We're going to try and throw this thing together out of a few pallets that we were able to collect. So we're going to use the same concept that we used for the original pallet fence we did on Venture Girls Barnyard. We're just going to run a few pallets around to make the border of it and then we'll do a slanted roof coming off the side here. So we'll be coming from the fence down to the back of the pallets with some overhang to keep them out of the weather. I'm trying to decide right now just how big we want to make it. Uh, we had originally planned to only go about four feet off. But the more I look at it, the more I think I want to do it at least two pallets deep to give them plenty of room to be in there as they grow. I think that'll give us a pretty good size little shed for them right there. I think we are going to go two pallets deep by three pallets wide. Connect fence post to fence post. That gives about a six by 10 shed right there for them. Then so let's get started screwing these pallets together to get the fence firmed up on the outside, get the walls up, and then we'll figure out how we're gonna roof this. Uh, for right now, we'll probably end up just putting a few supports in the tarp, and then I'll round up some salvage tin and put a tin roof on top of it for them. All right, so the camera shut off at some point, but here we go. It's not exactly square, it's not exactly pretty. That'll serve as the shed for the goats. I just screwed all these together, screwed them into the fence post. That should give the goats a pretty good area here to where we'll be able to get shelter for them. 
Now we're gonna cut the fence out in this one section so they can get in here and we're gonna figure out something for the roof. Now we're gonna cut this fencing out so the goats will be able to access the shed. We're gonna use some snips for the light chicken wire and then to make it go quick, I'm just gonna use a cutoff wheel here to trim that thicker field wire. All right, chicken wire's down. We'll probably reuse it the same way we did in the original barnyard pallet fence and put it around the inside of these pallets so that if we do put the rabbits or chickens in here at some point, they won't be able to get through those pallets. Real quick, let's zip through the rest of that wire and goats will be able to get into the shed. And there we go, it's open to the goats now. They'll be able to use that for their shelter. We're gonna get a roof framed up and get it tarped until we can salvage some old tents somewhere to get a proper roof on it. Adventure Bear is out here with the goats now. Uh, all we did is throw a couple landscaping timbers we've had for a few years since we put one of the flower beds in. Up on top of this support came off of one of the pallets that we had originally planned on using for our dugout shelter roof. Uh, we just tore it down, used the 10 foot cross board to make the support across the front. Landscaping timbers across the top for right now. We're just gonna tarp it, then as we salvage some more supplies, we'll take that off and redo the roof. But this will at least give us the ability to tarp the top and give these goats a little bit better shelter out here. Okay, for the tarp, the only tarp we had here that's big enough to span that distance there and actually cover them is just this old blue tarp that's about, about been completely weathered out. There's a few holes in it and it's just frayed and wind torn. We've used it for years and years for different things. So we're gonna put it over the top right now and since we're not really worried about it being watertight and keeping it so dry in there, it's more for the sun break, we're just gonna staple this tarp down until we're ready to take it off and actually roof this shed here. So let's throw some staples in this thing and get these goats some shade. All right, well, there we go. That's uh, that's a temporary roof for now. That'll work. Gave them a pretty good little shaded spot during the heat of the day. We'll get their food and water moved over there. They'll have their little house right there. Think that'll work for them.
nothing fancy. Again, not the prettiest, not the strongest, but it was all made out of salvage parts, stuff we had laying around. That'll work for now. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it gave you some ideas of quick, easy, cheap ways you can do stuff on your own property, barnyard, farm, whatever you have. Doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't have to be expensive. If you found it useful, let us know. Till next time, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow along for more stuff like this.